Hey guys, one question. I have been asked a lot and lot of times. Like wherever I go, I always get this question. How did you crack your Microsoft interview? Or how was your Google interview? I've already done some other videos on Google interview. Even I have made a micro, uh, video on Microsoft interview. But I am making a very detailed video on Microsoft interview. Once again, just to let uh, you know all of you guys. Each and everyone should get the answer. How did I do it? And so let's get started with that video. Hey guys, I Abhishek. Welcome all of you to my channel Code with Abhishek Chaudhary. In this video, I'll be talking about my experience and my journey to crack the interview in Microsoft. Okay, so currently I'm working as a full stack developer in Microsoft. In this video, I'll explain you step by step, by step guide and what did I do previously before cracking Microsoft? How did I prepare myself each and everything? So let's get started. Okay guys, so before coming to the interview process, I'll explain you about what I actually did to prepare for it. Like it's not like I was not aiming for Microsoft to be honest. Okay, but I was aiming for some top companies. Okay, how did I prepare for it? Each and everything I'll tell you. Uh, so how it basically started so it started like i got a mail i think around 2020 right in somewhere in mid uh, in august or something i don't remember the date but i got a mail you know you can say uh on linkedin i got a like dm from one of the recruiters from amazon okay and like they wanted me if i'm available to available for a job for their sd2 maybe uh, profile so i got a mail but i never replied to them i was like no i am not so confident like what if i am not getting selected so i had some fear kind of interview fear or you can say that and that was the reason i never replied to them i was like okay i'll see it later that was one of the big mistake i did that time but what i used to do like uh, like i had a habit of teaching like i'm teaching from my college ages okay like last year i taught like you can say about 200 students totally for free in my college days and I continued teaching throughout my career. This basically gave me a lot of boost since I was teaching students in data structure, since I was teaching students in MERN. So of course with them I was very clear about all the concepts. I was helping students to prepare for the interviews. To my surprise, you will not imagine, a student cracked a package of Amazon on 18 lakhs based on my teaching in DSA. And I was like, oh God, my God, I'm still not in any top fan companies. Okay. So I had that uh, feeling that, okay, I should also do something. So, but I had that fear of my, like, what do you say? That I'm not too sure what to do in an interview. Like, of course, once I go, I will not be very frightened, but it is like, uh, till you start, you have a fear kind of thing. To overcome that uh, fear, I gave an interview in a lot of companies, lot till lot. You can think like 50 to 60 startups in India. Like just to uh, get my fear, I did not want to join any of the startup, but I gave it. So I'll make a uh, different videos on that journey about 50 to 60 startup, what happened in those. But yeah, that boosted my morale a lot. In a lot of interviews, I got cleared. Some I got rejected badly. Some okay, okay. These kind of things. There were a lot of uh, like what do you say places where I was offered a job. So of course, these all things were there. Great. But then what happened after giving a lot of interviews since I got a lot of confidence. So I was thinking how to apply for these companies. You know, like you usually don't get a reply back if you do it on their job portal because lot and lot of people are there who is applying for job 200, 300 thousand people who apply for one job. And that's a problem. But to my surprise, I got uh, like what do you say? Uh, like uh, you can say multiple mails from Amazon, Microsoft and Google. So first I received it from uh, Microsoft. So since I was almost already prepared for it, like mentally, like uh, what do you say, I was teaching number of students. So I think I was quite prepared for the interview. So the interview of Microsoft, like I easily accepted it and I did not take much time. Okay. It all started in a, a one week process with an online interview. Like or you can say online coding now which comprises of basically I think two questions was there okay and they had some time like about two hours so basically they were expect you were expected to solve both the question I guess okay so I solved both the question in almost I uh, you can say one and a half hour or so something like that so all the test cases passed so I was pretty much sure that I'll go to the next round 
So the questions both were based on one was I think it was based on graphs and another was based on trees I guess. Okay. Then I went to the next round. So that was basically the first round on uh, I think they use teams. Okay. So the first round on teams. So on teams basically it was something like what they say. Uh, they will share this. They will tell you to share the screen, write the code. Uh, like they will give you the code, write it, run it. Okay. And then they will test your code on different test cases. Not every problem. But yeah, if they tell you to uh, like what do you say, run it on different test cases, you have to. You don't have an option. Okay. So this is how it got started uh, in the uh, like second round basically. Like on Teams, we had uh, like what do you say, uh, two questions basically. I think one question was of trees, one question was of arrays. Okay. He the first question I explained him. He was quite satisfied with the explanation itself. I wrote the things, but he never told me to test it on different test cases. Okay. For the second problem, which was a tree problem, he told me to like, okay, do it. Then we did it. Okay. And he gave me a few of the test cases and I tested it out. He also told me to create some of the test cases. I created it. Okay. So this is how it began. Okay. This was the first round. So I was able to solve both the questions for the first round. It now, uh, after that, I went to the second round. Okay. In the second round, same process, like two questions about 40 to 50 minutes. Same in like the first round also, 40 to 50 minutes. It began. So now in the second round, basically what happened, you got, you again got two questions, but two questions I think were a bit difficult compared to first round. Okay. So again, same pattern, uh, like share your screen, uh, live share and do the code uh, on your some favorite compilers. Once you have done it, it's very much perfect. Proceed ahead in the next round. So in next round also, I was able to do both the questions. There was not much problem. In the second question, of course, it took several attempts to do it like, uh, initially, his test case did not pass. He gave me some hints. Along with that hint, I was able to complete that. Then, since I was able to solve both the questions, I was like, I hadn't pretty much idea that I'll go to next round. So in that round, like this was basically the last uh, technical round for me. So in this round, basically what happened, like the initially the first part of the round was more like a project discussion kind of thing. Like whatever previous project that I have done. Uh, like he gave me some questions on that some logical questions some other other questions like one question was like uh, Let's suppose you are making an application like I made an e-commerce application. He asked me how many uh, What what was the target number of users? I said maybe One lakh if he told what if I increase it to uh, Like what do you say? Well, 1 billion or something. How will you manage that load? So he started with these kind of problems and then he ended up with one DSA problem Okay <laughs> A typical Microsoft interview cannot end with DSA. Okay, so that DSA problem was a bit difficult. So of course with multiple hits. So I was almost able to do it. So this was the thing. So after this, after all the rounds, I got uh, within a few days, I got uh, like what do you say that I was selected, and that was really a great moment. That yeah, I have cleared it finally. So this was my interview experience. Okay, so based on this, I have few suggestions for all of you. Okay, and there were a few normal questions like uh, I was even invited to case lecture in some colleges. Okay, like my college, RM University. So there were some of the common questions of most, most of the student. What to do, what not to do, what to study and what not to study. So step number one, like for freshers, it will have a common questions. Okay, what projects should I do? Number one, to apply for those companies. Number two, what language should I learn? step number one i don't think fresher as a fresher of course you can do a number of, a number of projects but like language is not a barrier you can learn literally any language okay and that's not a barrier at all no language barrier is there number two projects yeah they're like it's not about the project it's more about the dsa and algorithm part of the things in the interview if you are very good with dsa and algorithm of course you will go to okay so for Microsoft, for any FANG level companies interview, make sure you are good with algorithms and data structures. How to prepare for it? Of course, I'll be making a separate video for it totally. Okay. Like I'll be making a, what is it? Playlist, uh, how to learn DSA and algorithms. Okay. And even monster completely soon. Okay. So these were some of the things that uh, happened in my Microsoft interview. Of course, I'll be sharing soon my Google interview and Amazon interview experience like this. Okay. So guys, that's all for this video. So catch you soon. Bye-bye.